Hi, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the reading Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is found down in the description box below. We're going to take a look at Aries singles and those in relationships. So let's go. Spirit, what message do you have for our single Aries? We're going to do you first. What message do you have for our single Aries spirit for 2021? What message do you have for our single Aries? Single Aries, you may need to hear this. If it resonates, good. If you don't, good. Plenty of other readers, you can go check them out on YouTube. Different styles, different etiquettes. Okay, so for the single. Who or what is coming towards single Aries? Who or what is coming towards the single Aries? These are timeless, so whenever you find this reading, that means it is meant for you to hear it. And you need to hear it. Wow, okay. Single Aries, what is going on with y'all? Seems to me the energy is that y'all not showing interest in anyone right now. Y'all might be just focused on work. Woo, Lord. Okay. Yeah, it looks like y'all focused on work. Pay attention to the red flags. It's in the reverse as well as... <clears throat> flirt is in the reverse. Retreat is in the reverse so i'm getting the sense here aries the single aries out there y'all too busy working to pay attention or to be flirting with anybody or accepting anybody flirting with y'all at this point in time um i'm channeling that your work is way more important than going out on a date at this point in time for aries out there some of you keep it to yourselves at the bottom of the deck. Let your friends help you. Some of you not even having any interference from friends, co-workers, family members helping you with anything as far as your love life is concerned. It doesn't even concern you, your love life right now. Your work life does. Um, let's see why. Pay attention to the red flag. Flirt and retreat is in the reverse. Can you keep it down? Thank you. I, again, I am a single mom, so with that being said, if you hear children in the background, those are minds. Okay, why is pay attention to the red flag flirt and retreat in the reverse? Go check out my girl, Southern Mystic, as well. She is a great reader. I'm ordering two of her decks. One of her decks is the Clarology deck. I'm waiting for that to come to my door. Can't wait to use it on my channel. Another one is Kichi Tarot. Tyler's Tarot. Um, Queen of Pentacles Tarot 333. Spiritual OG. That's my sister from another mother. She just don't know y'all. <laughs> I love that girl. Southern Mystic is off the chain accurate. All, all of the ones that I mentioned, those, those, and there's a couple more. I'm going to mention some of them too. Mystic Beauty is another one. She has a beautiful soul and personality. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Um, Cancer's Moon Tarot. I love him. He is so cute. I listen to him. He is a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you something. Every day say, a fire sign, a water sign, don't get along. They actually do. Lord, tell me. I'll be listening to him too. And Shanique. Shanique Tarot. My island gal. She is blessed beyond blessed by Yeshua. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Now that's good. I'm done with the shout outs with my, my readers that I listen to. Oh, and Spiritual Healer 777. Now, and Yova Star, those are the read. Those are the. Those are the main readers 
in the group of tarot readers, okay? I broke it down for you. If you want to go check out their channels, go check it out. Now, single Aries, you got breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. The axe is in the reverse, okay? Mirroring each other's self-image, relationship reflected our wounds, introspection, mirror. Some of you feel as if you're <laughs> going to be repeating a pattern of meeting an, another narcissist. So that's why some of you, I feel, are staying to yourselves. That is a channeled message. Okay, and then you got sunglasses. Watching, looking, lurking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. Someone's trying to come back in your energy. Okay, someone you broke up with, but in their mind, you didn't break up with them. Boy, this person got hella issues. Okay. I shouldn't say that, but you know, I like to keep T.I. real. Damn, now I'm like Bernie Mac. Bite my damn tongue. Look, X reverse mirror and sunglasses. Someone from your past, an ex of yours, you single Aries out there. This person is lurking, stalking, looking at your social media. Okay, I see why you don't want to be bothered. Damn, you went. This person took you through hell. This person took you through a lot. I'm looking at it. And this is why, like, you don't want to be bothered. It's like, oh, my God. If I go out on a date or if I meet some, somebody new, I'm going to run into another another goddamn narcissist. And it's like, you don't want that. Let's pull a couple of cards real quick before I get into the Aries that's actually in a relationship. Someone doesn't want to get up out of your energy, single Aries. Uh, although you energetically... Let them go. This person, this, for some of you, it's individuals, individual exes. And others of you Aries that are single out there, this is only one individual that you let go. And in their mind's eye, you actually did not let them go. This person could be trying to get into your energy um, to talk to you. Like, they're already in your energy, energy spiritually. Okay, you need to go take that walnut bath. Yep. You need to cut this person off. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Libra, strong Gemini. Okay, Aquarius ain't that damn crazy. Um, you need to literally, like, if this person come talk to you, <laughs> are you looking? Make it very clear to this individual. You are not in into them like that. This person is highly emotional trying to come in here with a damn cup of love. They, they still letting go some of the some of the addictions and toxic ways that they have. But you need to make it very clear that you cut them off. Because I still see the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck in separation. So again, like I said, this is someone that you're not around. That you are abundantly single. And this person is trying to get in your damn energy. You just want to be left the hell alone. That's how Aries is. Okay. You need to let that person know, look, it's over. And if it's over, and you need to get out of my energy. Me, I'm quick to tell a person, keep your energy where it needs to be, with you. I don't need your energy with me. Now, we're going to do the Aries that are in a relationship. Okay? Aries that's in a relationship. I think I still got Oh, okay, I'm good. Shoot, I'm golden. Okay. <sighs> So for the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node, that's in relationships. Aries that are dealing with someone, living with someone, married to someone. Friends who benefit someone. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh my Lord, Jack. That's a fact. Now for the Aries that, I'm telling you, I'm going to be doing a series like this, like Sex, love, money, whatever. Whatever this series is shit. Okay. I need to get these messages out there. Okay. Like Moses came down the mountain with some messages. So did I come off my hiatus with some messages for y'all. Okay. I know there's going to be like some readers out there that's in competition with me. You don't need to be. We all have a message to give out there to the collective. That's what our job is. But my job is more than just being a reader, honey. This, this is like a, um, no offense to anybody, but this is like, for me, a low-level job. I'm not, I'm not just a messenger. 
in the spirit world. Let me just put it out like that. I know you're going to fall out. Come on out. Romantic feelings is here, but chemistry is in the reverse. What is going on? Aries in a relationship. Spirit, talk to me. One more card. That's too many. I'll take that one. <sighs> if you hear cartoons playing good, you know why cartoons is the light of the world. It brings you back to your childhood days when you used to watch Fat Albert and Friends. Okay, look. Cosby show all of that. Tom and Jerry, the Jets, the Jetsons, with it. freaking Fred Flintstone. Anyway, romantic feelings is here. Chemistry reversed. You deserve love. So some of y'all are dealing with your significant other. All right. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Some of you Aries that are in relationships, whether you are married or dating, living together, cohabitating or whatever. All right. You have a partner here that you have a lot of love for this individual, but yet the... How can I put this? They lost their damn sex appeal. God damn it. Okay, they lost their damn sex appeal. You are not as attracted to each other as you were. It's more like you didn't settled into the relationship. Okay, and now you're feeling a little bit burdensome and lonesome. You feeling, I'm going to let you know, Spirit is telling you, you, you do deserve love. You are a lovable individual for the Aries that are in a relationship with someone that they don't feel as loved as they should be. Okay. You want to explore with your individual and see, look, it's two people in the card. Look, two people here. Two people here. So I'm sensing some of you are on the oust with your significant other. Could have had a, a, a slight tiff, a slight argument, you know. But Cupid is still pointing that arrow there. There's still love there. I mean, but the room, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Y'all need to do something to gain that back, that momentum back. Stop wearing your jogging outfit. Dress up. Go out. Same for your partner. What's going on with this romantic feeling? Chemistry reverse, and you deserve love. The Aries that is coupled with a partner. Spirit. Please explain to me what romantic feelings is, chemistry reversed, and you deserve love. For Aries that are in a partnership in love. Watch my time, y'all. What message do you have for the Aries that's in partnership regarding romantic feelings, chemistry reversed, and you deserve love? Some of y'all, your partner does still love you. They have that love and feeling, but it's more love towards a friend than love towards a lover. It's like that. That's the energy that I'm pulling on right now. You need to spark fire up in this bitch. Be the flame that you once were. You are a fire sign, a god, a goddess. The person is losing interest because of something that's going on in the relationship. Ooh. One more card. Romantic feelings, chemistry, reverse, and you deserve love. Ah, didn't I say Cupid's fucking arrow? Look, you deserve love. You are lovable. And look what came right up under it. Cupid's arrow. Tell me, I, I'm on point, bitches. Okay, look. We have the chaser, the phoenix, and Cupid's arrow. So this is what we have for the ones that's in partnership. Aries in partnership. Okay. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. Ooh, not good. Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle. Renew. Transformation. Growth. Change mind. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. Invitation or meeting. Hesitation. So, what I see here is that there's still feelings there, but you need to spark that flame. Okay, because you are lovable. You deserve love. Aries, you're passionate, loving, sex-driven. Yes, I said so. <laughs> 
okay? You need to recapture your partner's attention, okay? Someone here has fear of abandonment issues. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You're feeling not so loved. You're feeling like your partner has abandoned you emotional-wise, mental-wise, physical-wise, because y'all not even having sex, I'm telling you right now. You want that person to touch on you, feel on you. I do see a rekindling here. This, this won't last. It will change. You will rekindle and get back together. There's growth coming in this relationship. Someone is going to change their mind, okay, about the relationship status, about not showing you or giving you the attention that you deserve, Aries, in relationships, okay? There is hope, so have faith, okay? The love is being rekindled, it's being renewed. I see you going out on a date. Going, you're rekindling. You're reintroducing yourselves to each other once again. That's what I see here for you and your partner. That love is coming back. This is just a, a oops moment. That's what I'm going to call it. A oops moment. It's not lasting long. Okay? Y'all will be rekindling. going to turn that crown upside down. And it's, it's going to be... It's going to be more along the lines of real love, not sex. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Aries in partnership. Aries in partnership. What the hell? Okay, my card's going to act stupid today. They probably like, sage me. I just heard it say sage me. I'm going to sage you. After 50 uses, you're supposed to be saging your cards. You can't just pull out your damn tarot cards. Because it's residual energy from different reads. So, let's pull this out. One of you getting out the same messages and shit. Okay. So, again, like I said, some of y'all, yep. Yeah. Invitation to love. It's a small invite. But it's nonetheless. Is love still there? Okay. On, I say in seven days or on the seventh full moon expect the date what's going on with Aries in partnership yeah someone's coming to uh, rectify the situation justice is in reverse with the ace of cups someone is feeling and I'm saying your partner if this is not you Aries in partnership or in relationship in the marriage or otherwise okay someone is Reevaluating the situation as far as your love life is concerned with your partner, you or them, and realizing that there's something wrong here and that, hey, I need to fix this. And so in their mind, they know they need to fix this. Them or you. Okay. And so they're offering this big cup of love. They still do love you. Ace of Cups is here. With Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Justice is in reverse. They know they did a great unjust this to you, and they want to rectify it, all right? It's more than just taking you out on a date, okay? For some of you, they will surprise you with this. You won't even see it coming, all right? It... One more card. For Aries in partnership, Spirit, Aries in partnership. One more card. One more message. What do they need to hear? I saw you pop. Yeah, they don't want you out there being single and abundant without them. Nine of, nine of coins reverse. Okay. They want to work on this partnership. They want to be abundant with you. Aries. Let me get another card. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups is here, and this is not them walking away from the relationship or walking away from the fact that they um, did you injustice, Aries. They're going to walk away from that concept of not loving you as much as they should, okay? Where they was lacking, giving you love, giving you attention, they're walking away. They're walking up out of that. You see them sitting in the background thinking about it? What have I done to Aries? Oh, my God. 
Okay, some of them may be up at night contemplating this. Okay. They're going to want to talk to you. Seven of Swords reverse. Okay. Truth being revealed, making a confession, whatever it is they got to talk about with you, Aries. Let them talk. Make sure it doesn't escalate into a fight. Just sit there and listen. Use your intuition. This person is going through some things. They may be depressed. I see the Nine of Swords, High Priestess, Five of Swords, and Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're in the head a lot, but this is coming to an end. Ten, ten of Swords. Some of you, they, some of you, your partner may want to end it with you, but they're debating if they should or should not because in their heart they don't want to. Um... Others of you, your partner is dealing with depression and disappointment or whatever the situation is. Okay. With that being said, this is Aries. Love reading. I'm looking at the cards right now. This is Aries. Love reading. Be blessed.